Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Mike here, back with another NBA 2K22 Arcade Edition Rebuild. Um, this is going to be episode number four, and we are going to be rebuilding the Cleveland Cavaliers. Probably going to be one of the easier rebuilds, as they have a ton of young players. Um just an absolute plethora so we're going to do scouting auto off season and extensions both on auto as well like i said they have a ton of young players and a ton of talent on this team um the only people i wouldn't mind getting rid of right away is going to be kevin love and colin sexton just to be honest with you guys uh kevin love is making way too much money um And I just don't think he's worth what they're paying him currently. So you can hate me for that or whatever, you know. Um, Tobias Harris. Clint Capella. Doesn't help me because I have Jared Allen. See, John Isaac does help me. Um, he'd be a backup. I get for Kevin Love, Colin Sexton in a first. I could get Chris Middleton and Bobby Portis. Chris Middleton can run the two. So that's not a bad idea. John Collins and Clint Capella. Hmm. Jamal Murray can run the two. Aaron Gordon can be my sixth man. Currently, that's my favorite. My favorite trade thus far. Clay Thompson and Jordan Poole. Do I do this trade? I'm losing cap space, but I'm gaining talent. Considerably. Um, and I'm going to do that, so. Now, Chetty Osman is still going to start, which I don't know that I love. I don't. I really don't. Okay. What can I get for him? Currently the weak spot of the team. seeing anything here great which is gonna suck i really don't want to use him can i make somebody i can make karis levert a three and he'll start over chetty osman or i could make clay thompson a three <sighs> i mean this team has so much just potential it's crazy. We're going to make Clay a small forward shooting guard. Um, he makes so much money. If we don't win it all this year, I'm going to trade him. Coaching. Isaac Okoro is going to get Rondo's minutes because, actually, he's going to get Markinen's minutes. I forgot how many minutes I have to give yet, so there's 12 there, 16 there. Let's give 34 to Karis LeVert, 34 to Garland. 
33 to Mobley, and 34 to Jarrett Allen. I honestly think this is already a championship team. I know we're only in 86 overall. But let's sim to basically the trade deadline and see how we do. Okay, we're not as good as I thought we would be at 18 and 21. But we have, like I said, we have so much young talent that this might be a couple year rebuild. But in the same sense, it, the amount of potential this team has to grow, even in just one off season, it could... I just passed up on a good trade and I'm kind of annoyed. Um... No, we're not going to stop summing at the deadline. It looks like we're going to at least make the playoffs. No. Yeah, we're going to at least make the playoffs, which is good. 43 and 39. Okay, that's solid. I can live with that. We're going to go up against the Philadelphia 76ers, which we get swept by, which I kind of expected is why I did that. So, and The Miami Heat win it all, probably Jimmy Butler. Yep, Jimmy Butler is your finals MVP. Draft lottery. Do we have a pick? I think I traded it. It looks like I did. I don't know if I have a second or not, so I'm going to do this. Okay, I have a ton of seconds, apparently. crazy if I could get a first, but I, it's not likely. I came out of that with more seconds than I had, which I'm happy with. And we're going to go down to training camps. I have two. Cool. Evan Mobley's a beast, so I'm really hoping he's, uh, currently we're in 87, so it doesn't look like we got too much better as a whole, but we did retain most of the people on the team. Um, Jordan Poole, I'm going to have to re-sign Darius Garland, or trade him, and I don't want to trade him, so... Can we extend him now? No, no, no. You're not going to test free agency. That's not happening. 
How do I sign him? I'd really rather this guy not test free agency. But if it becomes to the trade deadline and he still says that, I'm going to have to trade him. Because we're not going to be able to retain him. As much as it sucks, because I really don't want to trade him. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. This gets rid of my Jordan Poole situation. Andrew Wiggins and Draymond. No. Will Barton. See, he's a downgrade from Jordan Poole, but he's also making more money. like I'm losing my ass on that trade but just just to see what what can I get for him Tyler Hero who could definitely run the point these seconds I have. This is crazy. It's probably not going to make it too much better. If any at all. Um, to be honest, I feel like it took some of the offers off the table. Like, Halliburton's not bad. Um, but, I wish I'd have saw this and then traded for somebody else. Um, Halliburton could definitely play. Who did I trade for? Michael Porter Jr. Karis LeVert could come off the bench. Then again, I don't have a point guard if I do that. Do I still have Karis LeVert? I'm going to do that trade for Tyrese Halliburton. And then I'm going to trade Karis LeVert. And probably a couple firsts. And I'm going to get a really good point guard. Yes. Still an 87. Isaac Okoro is going to get more minutes than Will Barton. 100%. I actually really like Isaac Okoro. I should have sent him to untap potential as well. Instead of like Evan Mobley, but I didn't think about it, so it's kind of my fault. Let's do this. GM, Trey Finder. Let's do... Where's he at? He's gotta be up here. He's at the top for some reason. I don't see anything there I love, so we're gonna try to make something happen. Karis Levert and three firsts. Give me Lillard. Cavs acquire 19 million more than allowed. I give you Laurie Markkinen. And you give me back.
his overall is already starting to drop. I mean, it would be a quick thing, but... There's probably no way I could get Jaw, right? Grizzlies acquire... 6 more than allowed. Give me Xavier Tillman. And I'll give you back... I don't know. Are you interested in, like, Lamar Stevens? No. I can't do that because the money don't match up. <sighs> you give me back... Good point guards are impossible to trade for in this game, I, I swear to you. I'm giving you guys plenty of value. Plenty. Alright, current starting lineup is Chris Paul, Tyrese Halliburton, Michael Porter Jr., Evan Mobley, Jared Allen. The bench is Laurie Markinen, Will Barton, Isaac Okoro, Gogo Batadze. Sure. I actually like Boogie better than him. And that is going to be the rotation for this season. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we started off horribly at 0-5. Uh, um, definitely was not, not what I wanted. No. No. Hmm. I'm not giving up a first, though. I get a better, younger player making less money. We're going to do that. Yes. Coaching. Welcome to the rotation. Says we're at 90 overall by now, so that's cool. Get CJ, but I have to give up Chris Paul. DeMar DeRozan. Hmm. I mean, this fits the win now meta a little more. But I'm not going to do it because in case we don't win it all this year. And I don't think we're there yet as far as winning it all goes. So. What did I do? Turn off the trade deadline on accident? I must have. Jalen Brown for Chris Paul. Yep. Don't mind if I do. I don't even know who my shooting guard was. It was Tyrese Halliburton. Who can play point guard, right? 
can he? if he can or not. I'm gonna make him play point red. I don't give a damn. Davion Mitchell, I'm sorry. I have to. <laughs> uh, once again, I want DeMarcus Cousins to start over you. Or to get playing time over you. We are 51 and 31. Giannis wins that. Most improved goes to Michael Porter Jr., okay. And coach of the year goes to the Memphis Grizzlies. Interesting. Why am I sweating? All NBA first team, nobody. All NBA second team, also nobody. Same with NBA third team. What about defensive teams? No. No. And... Uh, we don't have any rookies. All right, let's see. We're going to play the Charlotte Hornets. I'm going to just simulate to this round. We win. And we are going up against Brooklyn, which we're probably going to lose. So... We win. We're going to play Toronto in the conference finals. Let's run this one game at a time here. Two to two. We're up three two. And we're moving on to the finals against John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies. Simulate game one. They win. Game two. Are they going to sweep us? No. Uh oh. We're coming back. One game away from being the NBA champion. Cleveland Cavaliers. It's going to a game seven. And we win. Let's go. Cleveland Cavaliers have won the NBA Finals. And Jalen Brown is your Finals MVP. Guys, that's awesome. Um, that went super quick. Um, this video will be posted. Uh... I don't know, probably Thursday, maybe maybe Wednesday, I don't know yet. We'll figure out when it's going to be posted, but you guys keep an eye out for this video. Um, I, I know it's saying in at the end of this video, but this video right here is going to be a banger when you guys watch it. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed. Um, that Cavs team was actually quite a bit of fun to rebuild. Uh, I'll be honest, the Bulls. I probably had to try about seven or eight times before I found a video that worked. Um, this was a first time trying this rebuild and 